I wonder how Cutworm's doing. I can talk to him later. I'll call and check in on him. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just bring him up. Hmm. Hey Siri, call Cutworm59. Did you mean Cutworm59? Mobile. Yes. Calling Cutworm59. Mobile. <clears throat> Hello. Cutworm, I'm my buddy. How you doing? I'm doing very well. Good. I'll... What? I'm sitting out here in the garage eating sardines with the YouTubers, and I just happened to think, I wonder what Cutworm's doing. I thought, oh, heck far, let's call him up and ask him. So all the YouTubers are listening in, so anything you say can and, and might be used against you. Well, that'd be all right. Yeah, I know. You don't know if do nothing too bad yeah. illegal. It don't pay. No. No. What are y'all doing all up in one lot? You taking over? I am, uh... I got a friend's car. It's, it's one of these little Japanese Toyotas I'm trying to fix because just doing them a favor, and I got that in here. And uh, what are you working on? Uh, a retirement. Oh, okay. No, uh, I'm still working on that 51 Ford when when uh, everything works out all right. Uh huh. So thanks to the doctor clutches. Well, how you feeling? Uh, I feel all right for an old ball fat guy. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You able to get up and around much? Yeah, about two, two days. I, I average about two days a week. I can move, motivate some. Yeah. Had me a nice hairy, uh, well, it wasn't hairy, but had me a colonoscopy the other day. Ouch. Yeah, well, it don't hurt. No. Just get rid of, you know, eating that stuff to make it go a lot. That's the worst part. Yeah. Well, I don't think they do them like they used to, do they? They told me they got something now that's a lot less intrusive. Oh, I don't know. They just push you down and cram it in. Yeah. That's all. You get to see yourself on TV, but not the right end. I always tell them I don't want to look. Oh, you gotta be curious about this stuff. I ain't that I curious. Know. I ain't that curious. Yeah. There's some things I don't want to see. Oh well, yeah. You know, you're more cultured than I am. I don't think it's cultured. I think I'm just squeamish. I'm more squeamish. -er. I don't know. You're pretty brave. You reckon? Yeah. Hmm. Pretty brave. I'm eating uh I'm eating hot sardines and they about to burn me, they set me on fire, so I guess I am pretty brave. Uh, yeah, them uh barbecue vainies get hot too sometimes. I ain't eating a vein of sausage in years. My brother used to love them things. He used to eat the daylights out of them. Yeah, they're alright. Nothing wrong with a vain sausage. No, I I hadn't had any of them. I had spam since I had Vienna sausages. Yeah, we got some. Hopefully, it's spam in the in the cupboard in there. I don't want to eat no treat. You don't think but spam spam is a lot better? You think? <sighs> I hear my dog barking. Hey! No, that means he wants me to come get him. I gotta run in. I gotta run in the house. I'll take you with me though. We'll all go. I'll take me and you and the tubers. We'll all go in the house because Charlie, Charlie can't jump off a couch because he's old and I'm afraid he'll hurt himself. So he'll bark. Yeah, he's barking. He'll bark. He'll say, come get me, daddy. I need to go out. Yeah. I have to go rescue Charlie. Hey, buddy. There he is right there. Hey, buddy. 
You need oh. to go outside? Oh, Daddy's gotcha. Daddy's gotcha. Let's go. He's uh, he's old, you know. Yeah. He don't get around much like he used to. No. Say hi, Charlie. Everybody's here. Everybody's hi, here. Charlie. You want to go for a walk? I'll walk with you. Don't go off that high edge, though. You go this way. Come on, buddy. Let's go this way. He's blind, too, cause, so he don't know for sure where I'm at. Come on, you can do it. We'll go down the ramp. Them cataracts will get him. Yeah. Yeah, bless his heart. Yeah, I've seen him walk off the porch a time or two and stuff like that. Oh, God. That's why I go get him off the couch. I don't want him to walk off the side of the couch. Yeah. He must be feeling pretty good. He's walking out here in the gravel. Oh, bless his heart. Yeah. He's doing good. That's a good boy. I've been watching you build that rock me up. Yeah, I've been messing with it. I, I love that thing. Ain't that beautiful? Well, it is beautiful, and I'm honored to have it. And, uh, you know, I put them seats in it, and that made a huge difference. Uh, yeah. You know, he had uh, like a bench seat in there, and it wasn't adjustable at all. And I put them adjustable seats with the swivels in there. And yeah. it got me lower to the ground, uh, which gave me the feeling of having a lower center of gravity. Uh, Mike used to say that car felt top heavy, and it kind of did to me. But after I, after I got lower down in the cockpit there, uh, it, it actually felt pretty good. So, yeah, that's, that was a good thing. It makes me like to drive it a whole lot more. Yeah. 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 What happened to my He sold it to somebody. And Dale, remember Dale? Uh, yeah. Dale said he saw it. Somebody had it for sale, but by the time he got to it, it had no. Wait a minute, that's not right. I'm mixing up my stories because Dale built a truck. Remember, he built a '39, yeah. and uh, he saw his own truck for sale. He sold his, and but then he somebody bought it before he could get to it. So I don't know where Mike. Last time I knew it was somewhere in the neighborhood of Portland, Maine, and uh, I don't know where it went from there. Boy, that was a dandy. I got to watch it being built, too. It's nice that, you know, Mike let us share in that. Yeah. He's a good I fella. He's a little shy, but once he, he got used to it, man, it was good. Yeah. Once he, you know, he was a talker. I mean, you, you'd think he was really quiet, but once he decided to start talking, you couldn't hardly get him to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's a good boy. I've had some good folks in my life. Yeah, I was gonna say you've had some dandies. I sure have. Yeah. That that and Dan and and uh that guy that paints and does stuff. Yeah, Stan Silva. I I know another guy now. I hadn't got him on YouTube yet, but he's a he's a, a different kind of sculptor and artist. And at a certain point, I'm gonna get over to his house and. Uh, let everybody meet him but he does glass work and a lot of copper work but yeah so i mean i've still got nice people in my life uh old dan's oh uh rusty's been talking he keeps talking about coming to see you but he can't stay out of the doctor's office long enough to get out there i understand that's where i'm staying yeah yeah but that, better me than some little kid yeah well you've got a good heart that way yeah, I can sure put up with a lot of punishment as long as some little kid don't have it. Uh-huh. Well, you're good that way. Well, they're just precious. Yeah. Yeah, so there's no telling what you're doing now, building a spaceship or what. Well, like I said, I'm working on this little Toyota. I'm going to try to put a radiator in it, and then it's got an electrical problem. Let's see if I can sort that out. The woman that owns it's got breast cancer, and she's taking chemo. And She said, I sure wish I could drive my little convertible around. I said, she said, you know anybody can fix it? And I said, well, I'll come get it and see, you know, if I can find somebody. So I'm going to try to do it myself. I looked online, and you know, I can get a radiator pretty cheap. So if I can find one, and if I can get this one out, I'll fix her up. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. Yeah, you're wonderful. I don't know about that, but you know, the good Lord's been good to me, and I try to pass it on as much as I can. Yeah. You know. 
they all get along pretty good. Hey, there ain't a day goes by that, that me and me and the Lord don't talk to each other, you know, and we have pretty, I, you know, I'm, he, he knows that I know, that he knows that I know what's going on, and, and we, you know, he, he knows that I know that things are going to be okay, I guess, you know. <laughs> Of course, yeah, we got a big problem. Yeah, Charlie's coming back in now. He's got a, he's got this thing he does where he goes outside and he comes back in and he wants a treat. But you know, he's skinny now. He's just lost so much weight that I let him get away with it. Sometimes he just goes out so he can get a treat. He don't actually do anything. But I figure, skinny as he is, he gets the exercise and he gets a little something to eat. So. I don't mind, I don't mind letting him get away with murder, you know, because old as he is, he deserves, he deserves to be treated good. Well, yeah, we're getting treated good in our old age. So. We sure are. Charlie, Cutworm's talking to you. He says, Daddy, you know Hi, I can't, Charlie. he says, you know I can't I hear, Daddy. I love you, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, he knows, he, he can't hear, so, but he yeah. got treated, so he's happy. He's happy with that. My little beloved Shirley Jean, she passed away. I know she did. I started to ask about her a while ago, and I thought, well, I know. I remember when she when she died and all, you know. But yeah, on Father's Day, we got a YouTuber out there that he's getting chemotherapy too, and he's got stage four cancer. And he he said something today about. It. I mean, not today, but a few days ago. He said he's gonna get to heaven before I did, and I said, "Well, you get up there, look up Zachy, cause he's up there, you know." And uh, yeah, yeah, he get uh, he get Zachy all organized, so when I get up there, they can they can come out and say howdy, you know, when I get there, right off. Yeah, I made a video of Zach one time. Yeah, <laughs> with Charlie Jean and everybody, it was pretty funny. Yeah, I thought. yeah. Bless his heart. He was a good one too. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was one of the gifts that the father gave us. Yeah. I believe God gives us dogs to teach us what it's like to love the way God loves. Yeah. I think about that a lot. Yeah. You know, God loves us in a pretty special way, and here I am. I'm I'm taking care of all of Charlie's needs because I don't think he's going to live long and he ain't got enough strength to take care of himself and I think this is how God looks after us you know he he knows what we need even if we don't know he he knows that we might walk off the porch if he don't keep an eye on us so he you know he keeps his eye on us and and, and everything and he knows when we're weak he's strong takes care of us the way I'm strong and take care of Charlie you know and yeah. Uh, I, that's how God loves, just just like I love him, you know, just like I love Charlie. Exactly right. The Bible, I used to think the Bible was a, a instruction manual. Well, it, it kind of is, but you get to reading all of it, and it's just a big love story. Well, that's exactly what I was just sitting here thinking when you said that. It sure is. Yeah. Yeah, they some people think it's a hammer and they want to beat you over the head with it, but you're right, it's, it's a love story. You know, it's ending that, that you can envision. Uh-huh. That's right. It sure is beautiful here. I wish you were sitting here on the porch with me. Well, you're a little closer now. I can come see you as soon as I get mended up a little bit. You know, it is true. I believe that you are. I believe we are closer now. Um, I remember when I left your house, I came down here to see my brother, and uh, and I stopped in Alabama to visit some friends, and I, I still got there, you know, while it was daylight. So, yeah, yeah. that wasn't such a long drive. Well, you'll see the, someday you'll see the dirty Dodge in your yard, and you'll think, well, darn. It's Dan. No, it's Steve. <laughs> yeah. Well, either one of you would be welcome here. Yeah. Well, y'all welcome here, too. 
Yeah. I got a, a trailer house we can stay in now. It won't be like that old house with the with the slippity slidey floors that went up and down, you know. Yeah. I remember that house. Yeah, that's, it's been there a long time. I've got it full of car parts and junk. I'm glad I got a chance to stay in that house, you know, when y'all still had it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a weird thing. All the door handles are three foot off the ground. And <laughs> the kitchen sink is about knee level. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. There's some, I guess, short people live there. I don't know. Your honey made us a delicious meal in that kitchen. She's good at that. Yeah. Okay then, buddy. I think I'm gonna go get back to work. All right then, I love you. I love Honey Baby and everybody. Yeah. Say goodbye to the tubers. Bye, tubers. Yeah. I'll talk to you soon, buddy. Okay. All right. See you back. Good old cutworm, he's a fine feller. I was going to go in and watch that video about how to get that radiator out, so I'm going to do that. Appreciate you tubers hanging with me as long as you have here and putting up with me and Cutworm. Love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.